seconds. The big bull leaves. The herd keeps on. Half an hour goes by. Karoha runs without stopping. The first hour is past. The sun is like a fire overhead. The Kudu are way ahead. He must read the tracks well. Underfoot, the sand burns like a second sun. As the second hour ends, the Kudu are saying, who is this man? Always when we stop, he's there. Now Karoha is becoming Kudu. No longer does he follow the tracks. He runs where they will run. He twists back where they will twist back. He runs among the thorns to chase them out of the shade. He drives them into the open. He does not slow down. He thinks of his family who must eat meat. After three hours, he is close, but cannot see them. The day reaches the hottest. This is good. The Kudu's blood will soon boil. Karoha must outrun his thirst. He is testing himself. Can I do this? Run with no bow or poison. Keep chasing with no rest. Only myself and my spears. For four hours he runs without stopping. God has set aside is dead on her feet. Now Karoha is controlling her. He looks through her eyes. He must help her to die.
Mukwasa and I follow Karoha's trail. We read his luck in the sand. The scent of blood draws hyena and lion.